Metro Detroit golfers, it's Tuesday. I'm Chad. And I'm Ben. We're here with the Tuesday tip of the week. Uh, this week, we want to share some insight about uh, putting and what type of putter you may be. So Ben, what's the deal, man? <laughs> <laughs> what's going on how with do you this? Set, how do you set that up? So there's two types of putters, yes? There's two types of putters in the world. So uh, you have a linear putter and a non-linear putter. What the hell does that mean? Yeah, <laughs> weird, right? <laughs> so a linear putter is typically somebody when you line up a putt, you just see your ball traveling on a straight line. A non-linear putter is somebody that sees the ball curving into the hole. So depending upon what type of putter you are, it's really important that you look in the right place to drop more bombs. Got it. So just understanding what type of, uh, how you, you see lines and angles and curves and all that stuff. You got it. Okay. So something that maybe a lot of people around much Detroit aren't considering or using to their advantage. Yes. That's true. So they're going to have to do a little experimentation to maybe figure out what works for them and what does not. Uh, out of curiosity, what are you? Uh, I'm a non-linear putter, but I had to learn the hard way. Uh, here's what I mean by that is uh, I remember learning aim point for the first time and Mark Sweeney coming out and he taught me the system and all of a sudden I was a master green reader, right? And I was making no putts. So I had called him in a panic. I said, you know, I don't really know what's going on. I feel like my reads are good, but all of a sudden I'm not making putts anymore. And he had said, well, are you a linear putter or a non-linear putter? And I said, well, I see curves, so I'm non-linear. And he had asked me, well, where are you looking when you putt? And I kept my focus on the aim point. So basically what he was explaining is, you know, a lot of times my brain thinks that the aim point is the target and I'm intentionally pushing and pulling putts because my balls kept rolling over the aim point. So as soon as I started to focus more on the hole and where it was going to enter the cup, as opposed to aim point, the putt started to drop. It was it's magical. It's the damnedest thing. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're going to have you hit some putts. How would you help uh, folks figure out which one they are? Uh, an easy way to figure this out is I would hit a couple putts actually continue to focus on your aim point and visualize your ball starting on a straight line. And then I would hit a couple of putts actually, once the putter's aligned at the aim point, look at the hole and where the ball's gonna enter using some type of clock system. So an example that would be if the putt's breaking a little bit from right to left, I might uh, shift my attention to five o'clock on the hole, straight in the hole would be six o'clock. So I'm just shifting my attention to the right a little bit. Do you wanna show them? Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. So what do you wanna do first? You wanna do the uh, straight line? Uh, yeah, we'll do the straight line or the, the non or the, the linear guy, right? So the linear player is going to continue to focus on that quarter while they're hitting the putt. So the first putt I hit here, I'm just going to focus on seeing my ball traveling on a straight line, right in line with that quarter. I'm not going to shift my attention over to the hole. I'm going to see what happens. Straight to the quarter it goes. Oh. <laughs> okay. So you can see there the ball rolled right over the quarter when my attention was on the quarter trying to see a straight line. All right. So now the second one, you talked about the clock system. So yep. uh, basically every time from your perspective, this would be six o'clock. That's what you're That's talking about. That's six o'clock. Yes. So on a straight putt, I would keep my attention on six o'clock. And then over here would be like three o'clock. Yes. That would be three o'clock. And uh, the only time I'd really visualize my ball rolling at three o'clock is if that thing was breaking about 10 feet. It was rolling sideways into the cup. Very good. Then. Yep. So we have nine o'clock here. Yes. Nine o'clock is on the other All side. Right, so if we know that this is the aim point. Yep. Um, and then people who see curves using the clock system, would you say this is going to enter the hole? What time? What, what would you say? Right around five o'clock on this putt. So in my routine, what I would do is first thing is I like to use a line on the ball. So I'm going to go ahead and align my line on the ball with that quarter. And then once I get my putter head, uh, the line on my putter aligned with the line on the ball, I do not focus on the aim point anymore. So now all of my attention is going to be on five o'clock. Okay. Oh, good try. Good try. <laughs> Close. Good try. Still yeah. missed it a little bit on the high side, but you could see it was significantly closer. Yes. Definitely looked like what you were talking about. Yeah. Right? You got it. Okay. So you're going to have to do the homework at home to figure out what helps drive the engine. Or is it more the clock system and seeing the ball curve into the hole or putting to a straight line and then letting the brake do the rest from there? So we hope this uh, tip helps you. Uh, leave us some comments below. Let us know what helps you put your best. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give us a thumbs down. Either way, we want to hear from you. It'd be kind of cool to actually see how many of you out there are linear versus nonlinear. So if you run this experiment, go ahead and comment which one you are. We'd love to hear from all of you. 
Yeah, I wonder, yeah, who really knows if it's like a 50-50 <laughs> split or who, who knows, right? Yeah, so, so anyways, leave us a comment. We appreciate you while tuning in and watching. We look forward to seeing you next time.